Probably the, the principal factor in deciding that I wanted to join Mars is, is uh, first of all, I had, I'd already decided that I wanted to leave the industry that I'd spent almost 25 years in. I wasn't really sure about what my next thing was going to be. Uh, but the exciting thing about uh, the Mars opportunity for me was uh, I could still continue my, my business development mentality. I mean, I was in charge of working in a territory as an area director and trying to develop a base of business. And that meant adding people and, and building, uh, you know, name recognition and delivering a superior product and service to customers within that area. So, I mean, those, those things were critical for me. And the fact that, that I was working in the automotive industry as opposed to information technology where I was before became less relevant. And the fact is that we were trying to deliver a superior product and service within an area. And my job was to help develop that, that territory to help uh, create a customer base uh, that would support those goals. So, I mean, as long, as long as I can continue to do those kind of things that was fun for me, uh, you know, talking to people, becoming a problem solver, uh, trying to help them figure out a way to increase the bottom line. I mean, those, those are the kind of things that I'd done for, you know, 25 years prior. So this was just a continuation of that. The fact that it was car stuff instead of, you know, computer stuff was not relevant. So, I mean, it, you know, plus you have a chance to make some pretty good dough. <laughs> so that always helps. Well, uh, what I enjoy most about Mars is, of course, uh, the time and the leisure of, you know, being able to do what I want to do and the fact that I enjoy doing what I do. And it's, it's become a, not a job for me anymore. I mean, uh, the people that we, that we service have become part of our family, you know, and they've gotten to know us really well. I mean, I was the first, actually the first woman from, that did uh, this kind of job because I actually do what he does. I do paint work, I do, matter of fact, there isn't anything that I can't do that he can't do. Matter of fact, when he trains, he mentors for the company too. And when he goes off and leaves me, you know, I run the truck by myself. And of course, there's a lot of people that said, well, then you can't paint that week, right? And I said, oh no, I paint too. Matter of fact, I do anything they give me, you know. And uh, so, matter of fact, a lot of our customers, they just refer to me as Mrs. Mars, even though there's the old saying, you know, Venus and all that. They know me as Mrs. Mars. And it's just wonderful to know that, you know, there's nothing we can't do either. I like the fact that it's, it's not real hard work. It's, 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 it's enjoyment to be outside. It's, it's to enjoy the time we can, you know, do things. And the satisfaction of knowing that I can do that too. And, and, and the income is really good, you know, and there's just nothing we can do. And, of course, our children have grown, you know, but if I had small children at home, you know, it would be wonderful to be able to know if I had to take them or go, you know, I'd have the freedom to do that. And uh, that's what I enjoy about Mars the most. The types of accounts I service with my Mars business, uh, probably 90% of those are uh, new and used car dealerships. We also service, and more and more all the time, more retail type service which is individuals, we actually have a shop for our business as well as three mobile units. So we're starting to tap into those retail people that don't know anything about us, have never heard about us. We've never advertised our business in over five years and we just keep growing and growing. So the advertising, I think, will start to come and we'll see that retail business pick up. We've worked on airplanes and boats and RVs. Um, we've worked at McDonald's on their vinyl seats in their restaurants. Um, different things like that. So there's a whole other market that, you know, besides just the auto dealerships. When I started, there were, were no other men from Mars in my area, so I was the one when they came in, but I have enjoyed getting to know them. Uh, this past summer, I had one week in particular where I was just overloaded from work, made a phone call, said, hey, Ronnie, can you help me? And he said, yeah, I, I need a day's work. He came down and he worked for me all day. The next day I called Brian and his wife Ann. They came down and worked for me all day. I got all my customers taken care of that week. And these guys that didn't have a full schedule that week were able to get a full schedule. And the whole deal is if your customers aren't happy, they're looking for somebody else. I was able to keep my customers happy uh, and help some other guys out at the same time plus having other men from Mars. Recently I ran out of one toner and 
that's a disaster. And picked up the phone, called Steve, said, Steve, you got this 175? He said, yes. Met him, got the 175. Two days later, I gave him a new bottle of 175 back. And without interrupting our, our schedules, we were able to, I was able to take care of my customers. So it's really beneficial to have more than one. And really, it takes so few customers to keep you busy that there's not a problem with competition. Knowing what I know now about the Mars business, I certainly would have done it a long time ago. Uh, we've been doing it now for about uh, 14 years, and uh, I wish I could tell you we've been doing it for 35 years. But if I had told you that, I'd probably be lying because I probably retired 10 years ago. <laughs> but also, take that back, you know, knowing that too, everybody probably, you know, can answer with that question, being honestly, that's what I would have done differently. But I think I also would have liked to have been a part of that from the very beginning, knowing what I know now, I like to have been that person to make them understand what a wonderful opportunity this has been and, and the life that it's given us. And a stress-free life, first of all, you know, and uh, to have your own business be able to enjoy it like we've enjoyed it and give you both benefits in both worlds. So I think that's what I would have done differently. Well, if someone is considering the Mars opportunity right now, do your homework. I mean, call operators and, and, until you run out of questions and, and then call them again to make sure you under, understood what they said and then continue in the process and if you're married, talk to your wife, talk to your family, uh, talk to your pastor, say a prayer and, and think about it. Uh, it's a wonderful opportunity. I mean, it's a multi-billion dollar year business. So, I mean, the pie is big enough. If you want to take a piece of it, go for it.